good morning everyone hope you're all okay right i'm coming on to show you how i make these little foam embellishments like the one that i've been putting on the ones that i've been putting on the postcards that i've been making you'll be sick to death of seeing this postcard <laughs> um when i showed it the other day i said i would come on and show you how i do them i have done a video on this a long time ago it's not my idea i first saw marina from mary hop she did a a video two or three years ago and i thought oh that looks a good idea so let's put those out the way i've just been doing these i've been doing these ones but i really like doing them and i've just about use them all up now um right so you want some foam and just cheap kids foam this one was a bit more expensive this is from hobby craft on a big sheet because this one is sticky backed but these these ones are not sticky back so that's up to you use whatever you've got um, but I'll, I'll use the black one and then you want something to make your impression with I mean I've used these like this little stamp I don't know whether the clear stamps would work or not but you I suppose you could use buttons or I don't know something that you want the shape of I've used that one just for that one is that gone oh there that one just for that one and then i've got these i mentioned these the other day little stones and i've had them oh two or three years uh, it was a, a, a craft store that's i don't even know whether it's there because we've not been for a long time it's called the craft store outlet at Spalding uh, it's on like a little shopping precinct place and they've got a, a sale on <laughs> so I've got those and they're for and they've got holes in and I think you're supposed to do colour them with alcohol inks or something and make jewellery with them but, so I've got several packs of those like these ones or oh, those right so i'll get on with it shall i <laughs> so you need your heat gun so bear with me with the sound and all we're going to do is just can you see heat the foam up and i'll just put something on it to keep it weighted down heat the foam right I don't know whether you can see you can see that shiny where i've heated it before but you just want to heat it up a little bit until you see it start to change Are we in frame and then press whatever down what shall i use i'll use this one no i'll use that one use a little and press that down into it when it's heated up and if you don't get a very good impression of it it's not wasted because you just heat it again and we'll see <coughs> whether you can lighting isn't very good oops wrong way <laughs> Oh, that's stuck to my hand then. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, but it's stuck to my hand and come off, so I'm going to just melt that again. See how it's disappeared? Whoa! 
what I was going to say was I've got this little they call it an anvil or something is it called it's Mr Doodles just to press it down let's have a look yeah well, it's not too bad it's no better than the previous time really I have tried just cutting a piece out and doing a single piece but it's it's just easier to do it on the big sheet so then all I would do is just cut round there and then go over it with some Inca gold or the silver one or whatever colour you want I don't know what else you could use actually if you haven't got any of that so shall we do another one what shall we do? We'll do this flower. we we'll do a flower. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry for the noise, but I can't show you without <laughs> having the heat gone on. Excuse me. So it's quite easy peasy. I mean, if you've got light cut the light coloured foam like that one, and you haven't got any of the ink of gold, you could just put a bit of ink or something on it. I suppose I don't know. I've never done that. I've got the inky. Um, ink or gold thing so I use those that's what I've just been doing then rough cutting them out let's do one more Just cut this out quickly. Love it. Love, love, love. So I hope that's helped for anybody that wanted to know how I did them. And thank you again, Marina, for showing me in the first place. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun thing to do. So no doubt I shall be in here for quite some time making a load more. So thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and any questions, just ask. Thank you. Bye.